Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. This is our fourth lecture of MEM 341. So, uh, I will teach you about the chapter 3 hydraulic pumps. Okay, before we continue with our lecture, uh, please go to the classroom, our Google Classroom and you will see pop quiz chapter 3 here this one is the pop quiz that you must submit before october 31st okay uh, and also please uh, it, Please fill in this attendance form for our class today. Okay, for the list that is registered. Okay, now we have 19 students officially registered to our class. And this is for the E1. And this one is for E2. So if your name is not there, please contact your PAA SAP. Okay, because now we are in the week of validation period. So this is our last chance to be registered in the course registration system. Okay, make sure your name is there. Okay, that's all. So now let's continue with our class. Okay, for your information, this is the recorded live. I put it in the schedule to be live at 2 p.m. I have something to do. So I want you uh, to learn and watch this video uh, by your own uh, initiative if uh, you have to fast forward or you have to pause or you have to watch later is uh, doesn't mind you can do uh, if you have something to do but make sure uh, this chapter you uh, must learn before you submit my chapter 3 pop quiz okay okay i will try to go faster chapter 3 is more on the theoretical base but there are also some calculation that you have to understand okay so uh there are three outcomes here at the end of this chapter you have to know the types of gear vein and piston pump and how to select pump and how to calculate the performance of the pump and also to know what are the characteristic of the pump okay so i think all of you have known what is pump what is pump is a heart of a hydraulic system uh, basically it convert mechanical energy into hydraulic energy and the prime mover is used to deliver the electrical or uh, any other energy to the pump and pump will convert the mechanic mechanical energy to the hydraulic energy okay so this is uh, a rough uh, principle of a piston pump okay i will try to go faster uh, okay so basically there are two uh, main classifications of pump one is the non-positive displacement pumps uh, sometimes we call it dynamic pumps okay i pause uh, a few seconds i have to check whether this is recorded recorded or not okay 
Okay. Okay, nah. So, uh, dynamic pump uh, is used for the low pressure, high volume flow applications and large internal clearance. Uh, this is basically is used in the oil distribution, oil and gas, and also the water supply uh, distribution. Uh, let's say Sada Syarikat Air Darul Aman, Shabas, uh, PBA Penang Bekalan Air, and so on. So uh, they will use this type of pump. Because they do not need to supply with high pressure, but they need to supply with high volume. Okay. And uh, commonly, there are two types for the dynamic pumps. Uh, there are centrifugal and axial flow propeller pumps. Okay. The second classification of pump is the positive displacement pump. Okay, before we have non positive, now we have positive displacement pumps. Okay, so this type of classification category is, is used universally used for fluid power system. Okay, why we use this type of pump? Because they are capable of overcoming the pressure resulting from mechanical loads and resistant to fluid flow. High pressure, small, high volumetric efficiency and great flexibility of performance. Okay, under this classification, there are three main types of pump that are normally used in the hydraulic fluid power system. Okay, uh, there are gear pump, vein pump, and piston pump. So every type of uh, this pump will have another type of a specific pump let's say for the gear we have internal gear pump external gear pump loop pump and screw pump for the vein we have balanced design and unbalanced design pump okay okay this is the gear pump uh, like what uh, we see here we have two set of a uh, normal gear. One is the drive gear. The other one is driven gear. Okay, drive gear will be connected with the shaft. The shaft will drive this drive gear, and the driven gear will be. Uh, moving or rotating accordingly to the drive gear so when this sets of gear rotate it will force off force out pressure of pressure port as teeth go back into mesh so in simpler way it will push the liquid to the smaller volume and then uh, by decreasing its volume, the pressure will increase. Okay. Uh, so, there are types of gear pump. Uh, let's say this is uh, internal gear pump. This one is low pump. Okay. So, now we come to the formula how to calculate the volumetric displacement for the gear pump we have this formula to be used okay you will see this uh, example here 
make sure you try to understand the example of calculation here because uh, this type of question also will be asked in the pop quiz okay and then we go to the vein pump okay we have two types of vein pump uh, one is the unbalanced uh, the other one is balanced okay unbalanced it has a inlet and outlet uh, where they are located at the side loads of the shaft so it ha so it has one inlet and one outlet it will produce unbalanced pressure on the shaft okay otherwise we have the balance uh, type of design so it has two inlet and two outlet by creating this um, balance design it will uh, create a balance pressure so there will be no load on the shaft okay okay this is a volumetric displacement for the vein pump okay so every type of pump there will be different formula of volumetric displacement so this one is for vein and we go back to the gear this is for the gear pump okay okay this is the example calculation of vein pump you can try to understand this example uh, make sure you know how to calculate because uh, this will be asked in the pop quiz okay this is the piston pump a uh, piston pump works on the principle that a uh, reciprocating pist pistons can draw fluid when it retracts in a cylinder bore and discharge it when extend so it is the most complex and the expensive type of pump compared to the other two gear and vein okay but by has the complexity in the system it will give a better performance and also can uh, works at high speed and high pressure okay so in general we have two types of piston pump one is the radial one is the axial uh, the difference between these designs are based on where the pistons are located okay like the radial pistons are arranged radially bulat lah membulat ikut cylinder block and for the axial distance, pistons are parallel to the axis of cylinder block. So like this, this is the axial design. Okay, you can read it thoroughly and try to understand in details. Uh, if you cannot understand how it works, it also can be explain by watching the videos in the youtube there are lots of videos that explain about the piston pump okay okay so uh, now this one is the volumetric displacement formula for the piston pump so basically we we really have a different formula for every pumps okay so this is the example how to use this formula okay and 
you also have to know how to use this formula this is also will be asked in the pop quiz okay in the summary uh, the cube pump is the simplest but uh, the lowest level of performance uh, by the simplicity of the design the gear pump is also the cheapest and it also uh, will wear uh, faster than the other pump okay for the piston uh, it has the most complex in design so where we have a complex design the cost is also higher so the piston pump is the most expensive one okay uh, by having the most complex and expensive system it also provides the highest level of performance uh, and the piston pump also can uh, works or be driven at high speed can achieve at 5000 rpm just imagine your uh, car engine your motorcycle engine it can ra run at more than 5000 rpm right is it <coughs> okay so it also can operate at high pressure okay so uh, at the middle of these three types there is vein pump so vein pump is like the so so pump it is at the middle one so uh, the performance is the average and the uh, uh, cost also average but the vein pump also can uh, be adjusted for its volumetric displacement okay so now uh, we ha also have to know how to calculate uh, pump performance one of the criteria of the performance is the volumetric efficiency okay you can see the formula here by dividing QA with the QT. QA is the actual flow rate. QT is the theoretical flow rate. Okay. And the other one is mechanical efficiency. Uh, the formula for the mechanical efficiency is you have to get the value of torque tt tt is the th theoretical torque and ta is the theory uh, the actual torque delivered to the pump and the tt here can be obtained or uh, calculated by multiply pressure with the theoretical flow rate qt and for the ta here you have to multiply actual torque in newton meter times with the radian per second the revolution of the rotation okay and this is the example how to calculate volumetric efficiency and also the final efficiency we have to find is the overall efficiency where it takes consideration of volumetric efficiency and mechanical efficiency so you just multiply volumetric with mechanical efficiency and finally you will get the value of overall efficiency ok 
okay this is the example so uh, you have to try because I give you the tips this one is in the pop quiz okay so you have to learn how to calculate overall efficiency here and uh, you will answer the question in the pop quiz so uh, this is how to select uh, a pump in your system you have to use the right components okay and also first you have to determine the required flow rate and then you also have to select the right operation or the system pressure so the key point is the pressure the right pressure and flow rate and you also have to determine the pump speed and then base on types of application what the applications is going to be okay and you also have to consider a minor factor such as noise level um, losses energy losses and also the heat exchanger is need or not is needed or not and finally of course you have to consider the cost okay so i think that's all for our class today um, if you have any problems uh, try to uh, reread this notes and still if you have the problems just ask me in the whatsapp group and don't forget uh, make sure you do the pop quiz and also please uh, fill in this attendance form okay i think that's all for today uh, thank you Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera.